a large group of people, and he said to them, Except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. So Christ knew, God knew. If you even go back to when, Mo, when God came to Moses at the burning bush, now Moses got to see the miracle of the burning bush. But Moses knew he couldn't take the burning bush with him back to the people in Egypt to talk them into going with him out of Egypt. So Moses said to God, God, I can't do this. They're never going to believe me. What do I do so they'll believe me? And God said, stick your hand in your coat, and when you draw it back out, it'll have leprosy. Mm -hmm. And when you stick it back in your coat again, and you draw it back out, it won't have leprosy. Mm -hmm. That'll be the sign that I sent you. All through this book, God has confirmed the words of His servants. Mm -hmm. The point I'm trying to make to you is if you walk up to somebody at Walmart, especially if they ain't already believed, and you tell them what God will do and why God will do it, is God not obligated to stand behind your words? Amen. Is He not obligated to stand behind this book? Yes. He will do so. Yes, He will. He will. Do. He's, he's shown me a... I won't use a thousand because that might be an exaggeration quite yet, but I've gone in home after home after home and told people about what God has done in my life, what this Word says about why He's done these things in my life, and pray for them and see Him heal them. I've seen Him heal a lady of a, some kind of a problem in her eye, she ain't never heard of healing. She belonged to a Catholic church. I said, man, do you... First I asked her, do you believe in God? Because I see a Bible laying on her desk, but it's got dust about that thick on it. <laughs> she said, yes. And I said, well, do you understand it? She was talking to me about being alone. And I told her, I said, you ain't never alone. Never are you alone because God's angels are all around you. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean they aren't there. And she heard what I said, but I don't know that she really believed me. But the more I talked to her, I came to realize she believed. She had been to church. But nobody ever demonstrated the power of God. Mm -hmm. You know, the, it, was it Second Second Timothy? Paul tells Timothy in the, later, in the latter days, that there will be a gospel preached that denies the power. The church has gotten away from the power. Mm -hmm. Well, I've seen it. Most everybody in this room has seen it. I'm probably preaching to the choir tonight, but we have this neat little camera going out to, to the rest of the world. Man. I'm believing that somebody out there is going to hear this message and understand that our God is still doing what He does. Yes. And all we have to do Sign is speak one. those miracles into existence. Yeah, yeah. Speak this Word. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We speak the Word, the written Word, mm -hmm. out loud, and God will just confirm our Word. Yes, oh. yes. I was telling Clay, I, I'm going to get off of my message for a minute, but I was telling Clay about this fellow I saw speak on TV not long ago. And he was like a preacher, in a, but he was a scientist before he became a preacher. And he spoke with this really neat European or Russian accent. And the Holy Spirit had come upon him. He was just praying about what he had read in the book of Acts. He said, I just, in my private room, praying. And he said, the next thing I knew, I started speaking in tongues. And I started prophesying. And he said, I didn't know what in the world had happened to me. So, the more he got involved with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. moving in his life, he started telling people about it. Then he started seeing people healed. He started seeing miracles happen. And he said, Lord, I don't understand. And the Lord spoke to him and he said, get you a glass. Uh, you know, he's a scientist, so he said, get you a, it's not a test tube, it's a beaker, yeah. that's what they call it, that has a plug in the top of it with two pipes. He said, I want you to take hydrogen gas and oxygen and put it in this beaker. 
H2O. Now, we all know that water is two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. So he's thinking I'm going to make water. This isn't all that fundamental. This isn't all that astounding to me until he turned the gases on. He turned the gases on. Hydrogen went in, in the jar. Oxygen went in the jar. But no water out. And God said, watch this. And the Holy Spirit touched the jar. And water beads hit all over. <laughs> God said, it takes electricity to make water. <laughs> My Spirit is the electricity. Amen. Your word, your spoken word, is the hydrogen. This written word is the oxygen. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is the electrical charge. Amen. As soon as he said that water, now he made he made that device mm -hmm. and had it on television. And when he spoke the spark, water beads came all over that beaker. There is nothing God can't do. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You know, I'm reluctant to, sometimes I want to just say, God, how about letting a blue flame come off the top of my hand Ooh. just to show how real you are. But God's not to be mocked and He's not to be played with. And God demonstrates His own self. He is a sovereign God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know because I've seen it. I've seen him heal. And y'all heard me tell all kinds of stories, but I'm telling you, they're true. Mm -hmm. I know him well enough to know if he wants to knock me down right here, he can do that. Mm -hmm. My breath belongs to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I learned to just say, this is what God did. You can accept her. You can leave it there. But anyway, let's go back to this message. I just thought that that water was such an enlightenment to me. Amen. When the Holy Spirit gets hold of our words and this word, and the Holy Spirit comes in and gets in the middle of it, mm -hmm. and miracles happen. That's right. Signs and wonders happen. You know, we are a living testimony. This word is God's word. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit gets in the middle of it, and signs and wonders are bound to happen. Yes. Yes, Somebody's just getting healed watching this video. Amen. Maybe somebody in this room is getting a new revelation of who God is in them tonight. Amen. And maybe God for this night though is going to speak to us out loud. Amen. It ain't above Him. Sure. Anyway, let's go back to this for a minute because I want to I want to show you in the Word that what I'm saying is true. Uh... In John 14, 11, I want to go there because, number one, the book of John is my favorite place in the whole Bible. But, 14, 11. Jesus walked this earth, and he walked in this earth in power. Now, there's a reason why he walked in power, and the reason is written right here. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Otherwise, believe on account of the works themselves. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you don't believe what I'm telling you,